Uh, what I'll do here is we'll just try and do a three point turn here. See who we get on. Oh, no, oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, a wee bit of acceleration won't hurt anybody. Oof, my goodness. That was a cracker. Now we're just going to try and go down this decline, incline, on a decline. Now just be careful here as I put my tyres forward. Oh, it's going to go, I can tell. Oh no, oh, 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 I'm going to grab it. Oh my god. Oh, it's away. Now for my next trick, I'm going to try and accelerate really fast in the pouring wet rain in a rear wheel drive motor. Oh my, I'm out of control. Oof, right into a wall. Now, watch me carefully as I try to get up this very steep and slippery incline. Eh, uh, let's start the slide. Oh no, oh, we're, we're over. It's gone. Sorry, sorry about that. Now here we are in the ice and the snow, sluffering about like we are on uh, an ice skating ring. We're away on the wrong side of the road now. And that all happened because we've got rear wheel drive and we don't know how to control it properly. It'd be a bit of fun on a four wheel drive, nearly kill the guy in the back. Upside down now, with the ruined motor. Now, we're just driving along here, minding our own business. When somebody decides to shunt us from the left hand side. Now what would have been ideal was just to take the hit. But now we're upside down the wrong way around. Now, here we go for a four wheel drive special right up a hill. And looks what well, looks like a Toyota Land Cruiser. Oh, over the side. The mistake was going up the wrong track at the wrong angle, if you ask me. Wee bit of juice here. Watch this 500 brake horsepower rear wheel drive vehicle. Oh! I've lost it on a dry road. How could that possibly be? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <coughs> oh dear. Oh, he's okay. He's, he's lucky he's in that cage, I tell you. <sighs> now that you know what their cages are for. Uh, what you here doing, eh? You cut me up earlier on. Here, take this. Oof! Oh, you dirty bam. Now, he should really get back in his bike catch up with him, but he's going like 150 miles an hour. He's miles away already. Now, for my next trick, I'm going to show you how to go down a steep embankment. Watch this. This is how you do it. Oh, how did he manage that? And... Even through that, you still manage to get out. Oh, that's absolutely amazing. It's just fantastic. How did you do that? Next guy's on a shot as well. Now, here we're just go through a wee red light here. Nobody can really see us here. It's okay. Isn't it? There's nobody about. It's four o'clock in the morning. Apart from the police car that's right behind you. Now, for this one, I, I think maybe you should get out the, the four-wheel drive, sir. You get out because uh, this is a wee tricky one here. Right, now I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to go up at the wrong angle. That'll help me. Oh, here we go. Right over. Oof. Yeah. A little bit of wet weather again, and yeah, a little bit too much power in the engine, and a little bit of jealousy as somebody goes past on my right hand side. I'll give it some gas to annoy him. Oof, for goodness sake. Talk about a tail waggling about right into the post. Four wheel drives, fantastic vehicles when you know how to use them especially like this, but they're not impervious to damage. Make sure you rust proof your car. That's what happened to that one. Now this looks like a very... Where, where did he come from? He just came like he came out of the underneath of that car. I think you better start running with you. Oh my goodness, run for your life. He's coming right at you. 
Oh. Uh, oh no. Now that is really the fault of both drivers there. One's going too fast and one came out of a junction without looking. Uh, these four wheel drives are absolutely amazing, but there's one thing they can't do, they can't drive upside down. It's impossible. Let's try it in a smaller one. Uh, this looks like a Cherokee Jeep, if I'm right. I'm not, don't know for sure. But again, it's the wrong track he's going up, and that's why it went over on its side. Wrong track, wrong angle. Look at this guy behind me trying to overtake. That's fine to overtake, but why do it in such wet conditions with such a powerful car with rear wheel drive? It's just going to go everywhere. And it did. Oh, oh my goodness. And I'm just going to give it a bit more gas here than normal. <laughs> he was lucky that never got any damage. I think he hit the brakes hard right at the right point in time. He did the right thing. Hit the brakes hard. Now, I reckon this is a wee Suzuki, which can really go almost anywhere. But there's a mistake coming up. You can just tell, can't you? And what is it going to be? Well, he's down okay, but when he turns, he just gives it a wee bit too much angle, and even that little Suzuki couldn't do that. Again, these rear-wheel drive cars with so much power in them, when they're especially automatic transmissions, very difficult to control in almost any conditions at all. You really know, need to know how to drive them. And this chap just lost control. Too much power coming at the back end. Well, this chap's stuck. You know, one of the problems may very well be here in this four-wheel drive. There's just not enough weight in the back of the car because the tires are slipping away like anything. They're caught in a rut. Stuck in a rut, eh? Oh, for goodness sake, that's what happens when you're trying to help me out with a tow, tow rope. <laughs> I pulled him right back. Pulled the other one away. Oh, well. Acceleration. Oof. Can we call somebody? I mean, with that number of people about, why would you give it so much gas? It's stupidity, isn't it? Or is it just immaturity and inexperience? Oh, this car might go down, but it's not going to go up. There's no vehicle that can go through a ravine like that at that angle. It's impossible. Somebody's looking for a bus here. I think they need to get a bus home. But this certainly is not the way to do it. Let's try a Toyota. They've got pretty four wheel drives, good condition, haven't they? Will it manage? Uh, you can't beat gravity. It always brings you down. Right, here's for a bit showing off. Oof! Well, you might have had to park your car quick, but uh, was that the way to do it? Ha <laughs> ha! 